Dr. Pahon Coleman. Aloha mai kako, mahalo nui all for being here. Um, we're just gonna open up with Pule and then I'll give it right back to Auntie Ilima. E Pule kako, e ki a kua mana loa o kala ni me kohonua, mahalo no ki a hui ana o kako. Ke olu alu ho opu mai kai o kako mana o, a me nahana a mako o, o ke ia la o ke ia ko. A mako ina hiba hiba yasi kristo, amen. Mahalo. So aloha, we have different people in different areas of Waimanalo that wanted to talk about group therapy and just um, for me it's holistic health. It's not only about um, mental health, health comes in many forms and so we got to keep ourselves healthy, our head, our heart, everything, you know, finances, the community, that's all health. And when I was asked about um, doing this mental health process, um, we're all about group therapy and having people do things together. So now I wanted to introduce, uh, have Kaulu Pali Makane Ole, who is actually at the farm in the back rows of Waimanalo, introduce himself and take you guys uh, through one way, one form of therapy that we use often. Mahalo. Uh, aloha. Um, my name is Kulu Pali Makaneole. I'm from Amanalo. Um, usually I have two ways of therapy that I, or two ways I usually deal with stress or mental health. And that is gardening and um, going to the beach. So up here um, during every summer, we have our summer program where we have all of our workers and we all, um, yeah, I will show you guys what we do. We water some plants and we um, put mulch over it to kill all the weeds around it. There, there's Shadrach, Meshach over there. He's, he's just uh, volunteering today. We got Kale over there. Um, but over here, we, we planted several different types of trees. So we have a lot of citrus trees. Um, but for me, therapy, um, this type of therapy helps me because I, I like to get in um, with my hands, uh, get dirty. And then the whole concept of watching a little tree grow to a big tree, but not that tree because that tree sucks. But even watching like these types of dead trees come back alive, um, that's also how... I deal with this, um, and yeah, that's that's all I got. How's about Kale? So I wanted to share that um, a couple of weeks ago we had to do a um, a presentation similar to this about, and it was a virtual huakai. So we same thing. We had people in different areas of Waimanalo and going back and forth with each other, talking about it, and it really flowed well. Uh, so that's how we like to do things. And in the virtual wor world with Zoom, it's much better to just be present in the aina, more so than sitting in a classroom and just talking story because it's really boring and all of us is all Zoomed out. So we really like to make things interactive. Hi, Kale, aloha. Introduce yourself, please. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Kale Makaneole and I live here in Wamanalo. Yeah, thank you. you and see? what are you doing right now? Um, right now I'm walking around our, food, uh, our fruit forest that we have all together, put our hands together and we all made this together. <laughs> it's basically like one, one family, one community in this one area yeah how does it make you feel when you're you're doing stuff together with um your friends your ohana your community um so for me making friends is like a 
it's a big impact in, um, on myself because they get to know a lot of people get to know who I am and I guess working with each other is kind of like an opportunity because you get to see new faces and see what everybody's characteristics is yeah everybody is down and up and everybody is happy <laughs> Happiness is definitely a part of um, our overall health. How's about Shadrach? Does he want to say anything? Um, yeah, sure. He's over here watering plants, watering more plants over here. Shadrach, so, uh, would you like to say a few things? So um, these young OPO are part of our Aloha Aina Scholars Program that we have um, summertime. Um, we've had it like maybe 12 years, maybe longer. I'm not even sure. And here's Shadrach. Aloha. Hello. Oh, uh, what is your like a question or? <laughs> How are you doing today? How does it make you feel, Shadrach? Why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, aloha, I'm Shadrach from I'm an Oh, uh, I don't know. Just every day coming to work, I guess. Kind of enjoy. Uh, yeah, I don't mind coming to work. I guess. That's how it makes me feel. It's therapeutic. I enjoy it. Yeah, brings joy. Tadrak, you just returned again. You went twice in a, like a couple of weeks to Molokai. How did that trip make you feel? And what what makes you want to return there? Um, after the two trips, just seeing how, how much, like how it was known as Aino Momono. I, uh, yeah, just seeing that, I wanted to bring it here to Waimanalo. Also make it Aino Momona for food and to feed people. Yeah, so we can be self-sustainable. Excellent. Yeah. Appreciate you guys being over there at the farm, sharing what we do on the daily um, to try and promote health and wellness in our community. Mahalo. Um, uh, now I'd like to go to Denise Ka'a'a, who is at her home on what street she live in, Huli and Ka'a'a Street in Waimanalo. Denise, you guys available? Let me see. Yes, there. we are. Aloha. Um, aloha. Oh. Hi, aloha. Um, we're sitting here, Hope and myself, and we are making poor Kenny Kenny Lee. Um, in my yard and I just before we start um I just want to share with you folks what happened today I had a project at my house and these girls uh Hope and Azariah came to help my mom and I um you know with little kupuna so they came to help us with planting why don't you show what what you guys did over here Azariah um so usually I would I think it's very therapeutic being out here and now it's even more beautiful, but I have to have this ugly green screen to keep my dogs out and hopefully my two Rottweilers um, will be kind. Otherwise they're going to get dirty lickings, but I love being out here. I get to look at these beautiful mountains. Um, it doesn't get old. My high Hawaii flying crowd and um over here, my tree, we, um, we're new to Wamanala. We've been here for almost three years. And uh, this tree was here before we got here. And uh, I told my contractor, we're not cutting it down. We're going to build around the tree. So it has gotten huge. <laughs> um, since we've been here, it's been a blessing. I come out here. I I prune it, I pluck the old stuff off, I pick flowers, I make lay almost every day. Um, it, it relaxes me, it um, gets me close to the Aina to be out here. Uh, it produces things for others to enjoy, which makes me really, really happy. I get to come here, I listen to my aquaponics, I look at this beautiful Ko'olau's, and my beautiful tree. And um, I just absolutely love it. How are you doing over there, Hope? 
Miss Lee is looking beautiful. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna cut flowers for her while she makes the lay. So Hope, what are you doing? And why are you doing it? Um, right now I'm just stringing a lay. And to me, uh, when I string lace, I don't do it as often as I would like, but when I do do it, I really enjoy it because my great grandma, my tutu, she actually, she was a lay maker and she would sew lace for when the boats would come and that would be like her source of income. So um, a lot of our family members know how to sew lay. So when I do it, I kind of feel as though it's like a connection to her because I, my grandma passed, my tutu passed away when I was about three. So I didn't really know her. And I just like hear wonderful things about her. So just being able to do what she loved and just like connect in that way, like it makes my heart happy. So what makes the heart happy makes the soul happy. So it's great therapy, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I, I knew your tutu pretty much my whole life. And I remember her very well. And I also know about like, I remember Kamehameha graduations for many, many years. Um, all of your ohana would make lei and, you know, sell lei and it brought joy and, and just comfort to, you know, the graduates as well as the families that, um, and it wasn't only that, all of the graduations they would go to and sell. So, you know, that's, that in itself is receiving of a lei, is therapeutic, you know, the smell, it, it just like connects, you know, just like you said. And who's your camera person? Oh, my camera person is Azariah. Let's see you. <laughs> Hi. Aloha, Azariah. How are you doing this evening? Good. And go walk by that garden and tell us about what you guys did today. Um. Okay, so today we came to Auntie Denise's house and we spent like a couple hours here um, with her and her mom and we planted all these plant, well, most of the plants along the um, fence and cleared the weeds. And yeah, planted a lot of tea leaf, nopaka, olena, um, ginger, and medicinal plant. And hibiscus, it's a, high, it's a medicinal plant of the hibiscus family, so yeah. It was very nice um, coming and spending time with Auntie Denise. Um, that I think there was a, a lot of um, more, more working than talking and that's what was um, made it very therapeutic for me. Um, I was really focused and was happy to be able to bring my knowledge that I learned from um, working at with Auntie Lima and living on my own Aina. I'm bringing you here to Homestead with Auntie Denise, and it was really, really good for the soul. Mahalo. Mahalo for sharing that. I think that's very important to understand. Denise, how did you guys feel about, you know, them helping you uh, in install your garden that you had asked about, and how do you feel? How does your mom feel? Um, we are eternally grateful for what these two did for us today and how they helped um, because now in, as, as everything grows over here, we're gonna be able to enjoy it for years to come. And it just makes my heart so, so happy that these youngsters um, wanted to be here and to help us. Um, on, on the other side of the house, they planted a whole bunch of ginger that, it, and it took them like 20 minutes, if that, um, that my mom would have taken about two weeks to do. And so um, we, we thoroughly enjoyed having, having them here today. Um, it meant the world to us. We're very grateful. And, and yeah, now we can enjoy um, our front yard, our backyard, um, in the ways that we wanted. So this, thank you so much, girls. You don't even know. Yep. Mahalo for that. Um, 
Okay, we're gonna cut away for a little bit. Shay, how you doing, Shay? You guys ready to talk story a little bit? Yep, we ready, Auntie. You can hear us. Aloha, I'm Shay Kililokai from Waimanalo. And I'm Ariana Coleman from Waimanalo. And right now we are weaving Ulana, we're weaving Laukala right now. And so this is um, an awesome form of therapy for us. Um, anything that awakens our ancestral DNA, um, what's in us are ready to create these beautiful pieces um, and be able to talk story and be in community um, is very, very therapeutic. Um, my background is in art therapy. And so my mission in life is to, to figure out that transition of our, our translation of Western form of therapy because it doesn't work for our people. Um, but this kind of stuff work, yeah. Um, it taps into our brain that allows um, us to tap into things that we push so deep down inside all our lives, all that trauma we experience, all that historical trauma that we carry, you know, from our kupuna and our, our current living kanaka. And so it's a great form of therapy to, to have, to resource to. Um, for me, it's the greatest, greatest form of therapy. Um, what about you, T? I know, yeah, same here. Um, being able to always touch and feel and kind of putting your mana into those things um, kind of allows you to um, release any kind of eha or any kind of stuff that you get heavy on you. Um, but you find joy in, in doing these kind of things because it's so innate in us and you just bring those things alive in you. And um, there's a one-to-one -one pilina with the things you do and with your hands, whether you're working with nauhala or meakanu, you planting, mm -hmm. all of those things have life in it. And, and, you know, you feed your spirit off of those things and, you know, and then us doing it together. Um, it's very Hawaiian to do things together. Sorry for the cliche, but it is very kanaka Maoli to to do things together. It's very rare you find people doing things alone and it's okay that you are, but most of the times it's you speaking all into each other and in, into all the things that you do with your hands. And so, that would be. Yeah. And this idea of, of wellness is not, you know, as Kanaka, it's not separate. You know, everything that we, our kupuna did wellness was, you know, whether it was physical wellness, spiritual wellness, um, emotional, mental wellness, it was all built into everything that they lived. It was a lifestyle. And so allowing us to tap into what our kupuna, how our kupuna live is more aligning with our true identity. And I feel like as we sink into who we are, that's, you know, that's the greatest form of therapy, you know, that's, that's why people go to therapy is so that they can, you know, identify their true self and, um, and be aligned with that. Because once you align with that, it's easy to connect and align with everything else. And so, um, yeah, right now we're just weaving, yeah, weaving our, our, our mo'olelo. Yeah, and the beautiful thing to us is Kanaka, right? We always like to give things. I remember my two to them, they mm. used to go over their house and they used to open a closet and they used to give blankets that they was working on for the longest time. So these things will eventually be gifts and, you know, we love to give. That's just something so, so good, you know, about us as a people is sharing the gifts of Aloha. And Kalamai, we forgot to introduce our, our camera guy. Our tech. Here. Our tech guru. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Kirky Deutschman, born and raised by Manalo. Um, I'm not good with the crafts, but I'm good with the talking story that comes with the crafts. So yeah. I hear a talking story with them and laughing, and this is the kind of therapy I like. So, Mahalo. 
So Shay, I like your shirt. What your shirt oh, say? Oh yeah, my shirt. Project Pink. See. What is Project Pink? So this is our project. Project Pink. Pink stands for Uvai Ike Naoeng Kino, and that's our women's holistic health group. So um, we do a lot of therapy in in Pink, and we just kind of launa and be in in community, same like we're doing now. We learn Lohala, we learn Hula, Oli, Mele, um, some modern graphic arts, entrepreneurship. So women empowerment. Um, and it's also just an excuse for get away from everybody else and, and be with our, our fellow titas. Um, and so, and it's been like our greatest form of therapy, I think, um, and the ability to process in a safe space, you know, that that we all feel that we can express and be and come as we are um, and won't face any judgment or ridicule, you yeah. know, so, yeah. And of course, Ariana is one of our participants. It's needed in every Kaya Ulu, I believe, in some way or form that, that life of uh, or that place where women can go to, um, relate and cry and be safe in, in your place and connect all of that yeah so you know you're not going the kind yeah it's, oh, me too mm -hmm. you know <laughs> her too it's normal and you know just yeah. try to continue to see how we can help each other mm -hmm. so yeah. my manalo is very bye-bye and so it has a lot to do with all the pilina that you just saw so, mahalo, mahalo pink, mahalo oh, auntie. We love you. Love you guys. So I'm standing out here in the middle of the field at the halal and we're watching the rain go by and it's a little light mist and it's so beautiful to spend time over here again and to be able, oh, sorry, if you guys can hear the siren. Um, I'm gonna always get plenty of action, but um, it's so beautiful. I don't know if you can see the rain up there, but it's just moving slowly. And even that is therapy. You know, our Aina needs all of the water. And Waimanalo, when I was growing up, had so much water, you know. Um, waterfalls in every single valley. And that's not the case today anymore because um, they, they divert in the water, but yet they dare to tell us that um, we use too much water. It's like, um, no, you and the junk plants that you plant, is taking away our water and sending it over to the other side of the island where, where it's dry. You're taking our water. So, you know, even that aggression, that kind of aggression, we need therapy from that. And just watching, I feel like I'm just watching this rain go by and it's a really, really light mist that is falling on us is amazing. Um, we're so blessed to live in this space too and to share time with all of you folks. So mahalo. And I think I saw a question from some Kavena. Or something that was asking uh how do we learn more about project pink um honestly currently it's one of our projects that um we um brought back to life a couple years ago i think this is like we did two two sessions two times and it's much um needed in every community like ariana did say uh how are we gonna get them into other communities i'm not sure yet um, we got a couple of people that's on. Aloha to our uh, Pink Wahine. I see Sam on and Kahao and Malia and all of them had facilitated. And I also wanted to say mahalo to um, Azariah and Hope who are with Denise because uh, we grooming them to be facilitators and they did excellent. Last week when um, we were asked to put on this group therapy, um, we were actually in a, a papale class and they were learning and they were very nervous and it was their first time and they're nervous still. But the only way you're going to get over your nervousness is keep on doing them. And so I appreciate their kokua and their learning. And um, I wanted to see if uh, Pahono is ready to go share a song. Pahono, are you ready to share a song? We'll come back to everybody in a little bit. Aloha kako. My name is Pahono Komet. Um, I wanted to share um, 
my way of therapy with you all. Um, and it's not just singing, but it's also being able to witness um, weaving or lay making or working in the aina and being able to write mele and write song and oli and hula about it. Um, and that's my therapy, being able to express my feelings um, in hopes um, to help someone else mental health by singing to them. Um, this mele I'd like to share is one of um, a mele that I wrote, um, Hua Hi Hiu, um, and I wrote it about one of the biggest, biggest um, ways I um, do therapy, which is speaking Olalo Hawaii in my native tongue. Hello, Pahonu. We're going to come back to you for another one in a little bit. Um, um, right now, I'd like to introduce the president of the Wamanalo Hawaiian Homes. Can you share a little bit about himself as well as how he deals with um, the stresses of life, but also just joy and holistic health in general? Hi, aloha, everybody. Um, welcome to Wamanalo. Beautiful today. Um, Talking about um, mental health and um, how we um, live in with healthy minds. Um, I believe we um, need to connect with the land, uh, with the ocean, uh, with the environment. Um, and when we plant or when we fish or when we share the real we have, um, that is part of even um, we are living and I believe that's the way to stay healthy mind and body is connecting with the land and everything around us that's probably the first thing um, I, I believe we should that's where we start we start with the land the resources everything around us we work with that we live with that we share that and we stay healthy that way water is important Kilauea so we over here at the um, Wanamala Hawaiian Homestead Halau area. How, do you, how does this place make you feel? And what is the value of this to our community of Wamanalo and the greater community? Um, Wamanalo Hawaiian Association. Wamanalo Hawaiian Homes Association have uh, an opportunity um, by providing space we can um, um, is endless opportunities that we can create utilizing um, the area we have, the, um, the, the buildings, but mostly the people. So with the people and our land and this area, we, this, is a, this is our vehicle to make whatever we need to make for us to have a better quality of life here in, on the homestead of Wamanawa. Mahalo. Anything else you'd like to share with the community that's um, tuning in this evening? Well, I think we live on, um, we live with hope. Everything, without hope, nothing can happen. So the first thing we can do with everybody around us is always give hope, stay together. 
we are always better off together. We don't have to agree all the time. We are better off together. And we provide hope for each other and the world. Mahalo, thank you so much. So these are some of the ways that uh, as a community in Waimanalo, we are able to cocoa each other. And I just wanted to say that, you know, just pulling this together tonight didn't cost us anything. Uh, it's just people's time and aloha that we share with the greater community because that's, that's the most important thing is showing what is important to us and only can give hope again to those that are around us. Um, and I hope it's, it's being conveyed to everyone that is present the importance of, you know, mm -hmm. the things that are important to us as Kanaka, the Aina, the, the land, the ocean, all of the things that Kiloa just mentioned and all of the different uh, practices that everyone has shared this evening, all of it just centers us, brings us back to our Pico. And I think that's one of the most important things is that we, number one, know where we come from. You know, I remember once um, I was asked, who are you? And out of my whole papa, my whole class, my answer was, I am Hawaiian. I knew that, but I wasn't a young student. And I hope it educated everybody else that was around me that first and foremost, I am Kanaka. And, and that gives me hope and health and happiness and joy, knowing where I come from, knowing what my purpose is and just living that, that way. Um, so anyway, wanted to go back to Denise, if she like come back on and see if she get anything else to say. Oh, she might be in the parking lot already. Uh, how about you, Shay? How are you guys doing in there with your, your beautiful art? We're good. We're almost foul, looks like. Oh, I'm almost you know. foul. <laughs> <laughs> I do even want talking, that's yeah. right. <laughs> that's part of it, too. Yeah, yeah we're doing good, um, creating stuff that then we can wear and use and be proud of, yeah? That's part of part of mental health, too, yeah? Um, empowerment, being proud, feeling beautiful, so... Yeah, mahalo, Auntie. We're enjoying the conversation, um, listening to everybody's, you know, take on therapy and what works for them and getting ideas. We're talking about juicing over here because we're like we lose weight now. So it's good, good conversation. Ideas come, yeah. yeah, ideas come, stuff come up. And I think that's the beauty of, of Hanano Eao is that it does, like I said, tap into stuff that just talking story not going to bring up, but you know, deep down inside, this you cannot you cannot prevent that stuff from coming up when you do stuff like this. So that's the powerful thing. And as long as you're in a safe and loving environment, it's all good to let it come out. So yeah, mahalo auntie. It's funny to share to the to Kavena. Um, just I encourage you, you know, you just start something small, even if it have to be in your garage. Yeah, auntie, because that's kind of how we all do it and start here in Waimanalo. So a little idea becomes something so great and a big impact. So if you know even just a bunch of wahine that you have strong feeling of it, I mean, it just takes two, then three, then four, and just do your start them. Yeah. We call us up if you need yeah. help. Call she, she get all of everything, the goodies, <laughs> just to make it extra, extra special and all the fun stuff. Mahalo. Mahalo. Yeah, um, Kavena, I see that, yeah, it was on your mind. And, you know, with anything, it takes a village. And so I think we've come to a space where we know who we can depend on and who we can count on and who can be present when we need it. And so like we just went wang dang doogie and put this thing together. And it, again, it didn't take much. And that's all it is, is sharing time and space. And aloha is the biggest part of any kind of health. Uh, holistic health for us is what's more important than just mental health. And there's Azariah. And so Azariah, I love your lay, Azariah. So tell me about your lay, Azariah. Oh, and there's Denise. Maybe they want to share a little bit more of what they were able to accomplish. Oh, yeah. Waiting on you guys. 
Oh, this is the lay that Auntie Denise made, and she gave it to me and pulled that one too. The lay that she made. Hi. That's yeah. it. They smell really good. Very How does it make you feel? It's Just like the saying goes, yeah, make a lay, wear a lay, give a lay. Again, that's therapy. You make it on, and then you get to wear it for a little while, and then you give it to the person that was meant for. You know, that's very kanaka, very important. Um, that brings pilina. It just brings you together, um, and you're always celebrating. You know, you're celebrating something, whether it's making a lay or you um, singing a song. You know, in it's all therapy, and I think that's what Im what's important for everybody to remember is just time and space, just being present, and you know, in whatever way makes you feel good. Um, let's see if Pahono is ready to sing another song. Pahono, what you think? Let's see what he says. Yeah, Marco Kao. I see that um, Kaulu Pali and Auntie Dam's faces are getting a little darker and darker as the sun sets or already, it's already set, but. Um, this next mele I'd like to sing um, is a mele that I wrote um, about my Onihano Waimanalo. Um, I wrote it in the third grade, I believe. Um, and it speaks of all the different Bahipana I might only sing two verses. Mahalo, Pahono. Um, so I think that's the importance of having, you know, young ones around who have multiple skills and talents. Um, wanted to just, you know, highlight some of the things and what it takes to be a strong community. Um, having, you know, a kako uh, and kako o, supporting each other, being present um sharing space time energy mana um that's how you build mana by doing stuff like this together but um so again denise and hope and azariah did come up to the halal because it is if you look around now it's really dark when we started uh we had 
some sunlight and now it's dark in Wamanala, but I just wanted to let her share a little bit more about uh, how she feels when, when she had the girls there at her house today and also making the lace for them, et cetera. Mahalo, hold on. Aloha. Where? Um, yeah, having the girls at my house today was, was um, very, made me very, very happy. Um, they came, no complaints. Uh, for me, just watching them, it was good for my mental health because I knew that I didn't have to do that. Um, and they, they wanted to keep going. So they got into the back of my house and, and they um, <clears throat> did more things that my mom wanted planted. And now everything, everything we wanted to do is, is done. And I feel so grateful. Um, and they told me anytime. And so, you know, these girls are wonderful. They're learning a lot here in Wamanalo and anything that uh, Ilima asked them to be a part of. Uh, it, it's good for all of us. And I'm just glad to be a part of all of this. Thank you. Mahalo, Denise. Um, how about you, Hope? You ready to share a little bit before we close? Um, I just want to say thank you for say that I'm very grateful to be a part of what we have here in Waimanalo. I definitely think it's one of a kind, just like every other community has their one of a kind things that happen. And that I'm just really proud to be from Waimanalo and have these opportunities to just be in my community and with my family because um, everybody here is my family right now. <laughs> so <laughs> it feels very good to just be surrounded by love and do the things that we love. Mahalo. How's about you, Azariah? Okay, sir. Um, yes, I'm very grateful um, that I get to be a part of so many um, programs here in Juan Manalo. Um, and I'm happy to say that it's not just a community, it's just the family, the Kalina that we have here. Um, and um, yeah, for me, I think it hits home the most when we have our, our OPO come and participate. And like Auntie had shared last week, um, both Ezariah and Hope um, led their own papa. And it was so nice to not have to stress and host and like we could actually sit down and participate, but like just sitting in awe and like, their presence and how they show up. And, and it's just a reminder of why we push ourselves to do all that we do because they see the value in it. Now they're teaching, they're inspiring the younger generations to, to become who they are um, later on in life. And so that's, that's why we do it. That's why we keep on doing it. And so um, having them here, I'm glad they came back even though they can be irritating sometimes. Um, <laughs> To have them, their presence here is is what it's all about. So yeah, mahalo, mahalo, she, Ariana, mahalo. This was so great being here and sharing, and hopefully inspiring other communities to um, to value your community, your <laughs> kaya ulu, and just um, I I know where I can go if I need something in my kaya ulu. I know who to go to. Um, I know if um, someone needs me, I answer the kahea. And um, I believe that every community, um, it's not if it's possible in Waimanalo, it's possible in other communities. Um, so it's all about strengthening um, the Ho'oikaika, the Ohana, and the community. And um, yeah. So we love you folks. Aloha from my Manalo. Awe ho, malama pono. Kirky, how about you, Kirky? <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore. They took all the words. Um, just mahalo nui. Um, seeing, especially in this past year, seeing everybody happy and being full of life and full of aloha in the worst times that we've ever experienced in my life. Um, this is beautiful. This is this is all that we need. 
we need to be with each other. We need to be safe with each other and just be enjoying our presence. So, mahalo nui ati. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Kaulu Pali, are you still around, Kaulu? Yes, I'm over here in the dark. <laughs> um, but going back to mental health, mental health is physically, mentally, and also spiritually. Um, other ways that I deal with that is painting. And so over, I guess, the two days we've been painting the container, we're kind of going to do like a little mural thing. All of those are kind of tribal stuff down here. We have our little kalo patch, the mountains, and the, the ocean. Um, um, but yeah, thank you, Auntie. Um, is Kale and Shadrach still with you? Or did he run uh, away yeah. from you? Yeah, they call me. Right here, Shadrach. So first, the one and only. Closing up. So Shadrach, we just kind of closing out a little bit. So just wanted to get your last words in before we finish up. Uh, aloha. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys. Spending time on the Aina and putting our hands to work and just feeling the month of the Aina. Yeah. Right. Mahalos. Hello, oh. and where's Kale? Hey there, Kale. Good evening. Um, so I guess my last words is uh, thank you to everybody for coming out tonight and supporting us. And I guess for me, I'd like to just be here to, you know, make friends and work together as a family. So thank you. Thank you very much. Mahalo. Mahalo, Kale. Mahalo for all you guys. Great work every day. Appreciate you guys so much. All of you guys. Kiloya. Aloha, everybody. You guys are doing an awesome job. And sky, so much possibilities, game. Go get it. Mahalo. Uh, Pahono, how's about you? You got any last words before we wrap this thing up? And the person next to you is. Yeah, I totally forgot to introduce. Can you show your face? Yeah, why are you making me work harder? Yeah, no. This is. <laughs> so, Shadrach, um, Nehemiah, and then Azariah, and I are all siblings. Um, so, I think being able to do. Um, I know work and community to work as an ohana um, is a very, very, very great support in our mental health. And um, I'd like to thank Auntie Ili Maho Lastimosa um, for doing what she does always, um, reconnecting Kanaka to our Aina, which is very, very, very um, important when it comes to specifically Native Hawaiian. And this mental is our health. mom. This is our oh, mom. Yes. That's my mom right there. <laughs> Uh, well, actually, all the ladies on here is my mom's. You know, they all malama us in our different ways. Um, and yeah, that's it. Continue, continue to continue. Mahalo. Does Nehemiah want to say anything? Nehemiah? So for me, I'm fortunate. All these young OPO, um, again, work in our Aloha Aina Scholars Program. Uh, we have a, a couple more as well. And this year is a little bit different. I think we gave them a little bit more leave. It's not moving. Is the right one? He never that they have who I'm not cool. Yeah, return.
I see you smiling. You talk. Hi. You want to see the song? It's frozen. All right. Wait, what was the question? Oh, what was the question? <laughs> Because I was trying to get out of the ring. Oh, you can sing the song, Nene. Sorry. I just want to ask anybody for any presenters tonight or anything specific you need to know. Ask away. Napoa, maybe they can go live if they want to talk. But I really would like to hear from Kahal and Malia and Samantha. Because they do a lot of work with us in our community. So if they would unmute and introduce yourself and say something, that would be awesome. And hurry up. Because <laughs> everybody will get bored. Auntie, why you always do this to us? <laughs> oh, you know me. Um, I've been blessed to work with Waimanalo and super blessed to be in spaces where they share all kinds of good ono kind things and also traumatic kind things in Project Pink. So I've been super blessed to be in those spaces um, and welcome back into those spaces. Um, there's just this magic of Waimanalo that has healed me. And then when I bring my mom, it heals her and then I bring them to my hale here in Wahiwa and she's healed even more. And they just bring a presence to my home and to my family that was absent before. So mahalo you guys. Thank you, Sam. Malir. Hi, aloha everyone. My name is Malia and um, I also am super, super blessed. I'm thankful that I've even had the opportunity to work with Ilima, learn from Ilima, grow from Ilima, and be welcomed from Ilima. I lived in Waimanalo for almost 10 years of my life, and I never felt connected to Waimanalo the way that I felt connected when I plugged in and when I started doing work with Ilima. We did our master's program together and we've come through lots of trials and tribulations trying to learn the Western way of things while implementing our Kanaka ways. And um, yeah, and it's been a very fine line to walk, you know, to learn from two different um, kulas and two different types of papa and integrate it and find a way for you to make, make a way. And so I'm, I'm really appreciative. I'm really appreciative for what her and her community continues to give me to this day. To today, I still try, strive to be the best Kanaka I can be for myself. Till today, I practice Pono ways. Till today, you know, there's so much little things that I've taken from Ola Lo Hawaii all the way to the fact that, eh, makahana kaike, get up and do it. You know, not just waha, not just vala'au, not just kuka kuka, but go to the next step and just do it. So it's it's been a pleasure. It's been such a pleasure to work with you folks. And I mahalo the whole community. Um, yeah, mahalo for the warm, warm aloha embrace. And eo, mahalo. Mahalo, mahalo, Malia. Hi, kahalahi lahi. Jetney, you being shy. Uh, she might have uh, gotten logged off real quick. She was here. Did she run away? I think she ran away. Hi, Amber. I see my cousin Amber on too. Thank you, cuz, for being always being around. Anything else? Amber, you like talk? Can unmute, I think. Uh, is how did it work? I don't know how that work. Kaho, you've been called up to the stage. Okay. 
how about you Napua? how was it tonight i don't i know you was like what is that group therapy and what you guys going to do what you think i think it was amazing mahalo everyone for sharing your mo'olalo and um what you folks do together as a community as ohana and how you take care of yourselves and your mental health um <clears throat> i think when kahal turns on her camera then i'll I can mute myself, but I want to um, mahalo everyone for joining us today or this evening for the first um, first of three webinar series um, that Papa Olalo Kahi is putting on in partnership with La Ho'i Ho'ea and um, the Department of Health. And um, Kahal is still there. So real quick, I'm going to share screen and show you the other two series for this or two other webinars for this series. Today was group therapy. Mahalo Nui. Um, this Saturday is going to be with Kanoi Lani Davis of Molokai and um, she's going to be talking about striking with intention and um, unraveling the hihia, the, the, um, the entanglements that life brings upon you and your, um, your spiritual mental health. And then we're going to end with Dr. Alkahi Austin Seabury and talking about our mental health and the Mauna. And um, yes, this mini series is for La Ho'i Ho'ia. And I'm going to try again to Kaho. Kaho, you want to share anything? There. Her. Aloha. Can you guys hear me? Okay. okay. <laughs> Aloha. Mahalo Nui for joining us this evening. And mahalo, because as you can see, um, our work is done within the communities. And even though COVID, um, there is still partnership and there is still communities that work within their kaiawulus to grow their ohana. And this is what we've seen this evening in Waimanalo, so mahalo nui. And we will be seeing more of these series coming up from Papa Ola Lokahi. So mahalo nui. Mahalo kahao for always being present um, within our community, teaching our opio and everybody. Um, we really do appreciate it. And I see them getting set to um, close with pule. So I gotta let them take over. Go ahead, Jali, mahalo. Aloha kako, mahalo nui. Everyone for joining in, as you can see, Kayaulu, Kukulu Kayaulu. Um, and we'll close with Pule, E Pule Kako, E Kia Kua Manalo Ao Kalani Me Kahonua, Mahalo Nua Kia Huyan O Kako, Kia Olu Olu Hoko Mai Kai Na Ike, Na No E Ao Amako I Ao Ke I Apo, Mako I Noa Hiva Hiva Yasu Christo, Amen. Amen. Ahui Ho! Over here is the letter. Mahalo. Have a great evening, everyone. It must be eight o'clock now. So Ready? Eight o'clock. Mahalo. Thank you.